So I had an interesting comment question. It was regarding wiring up a Symbio unit, indoor and outdoor, with two wires. Um, meaning like if you got a condo or you can't replace a system, you got a straight cool unit, and you only got two wires. So figured I'd give it a shot, try to wire it up and make it work. So if you can see, I've got my two wires. So this would be the two wire strand coming from the indoor unit to the outdoor unit. In this case, I hooked it up to Y1 and Y2. So if you do have a two-stage condenser, you can configure it this way. Nothing coming off any of the other terminals that would connect to the thermostat, the J21 terminal. Um, for demonstration purposes, I am running my red and my common into my indoor unit to power it up. But what you would do out in the field is just wire it up to a transformer inside. Um, actually, this unit, seven and a half ton, comes with a transformer installed. Um, and this plug right here, if you trace that out, you can see that green plug, it would tie into here. So that's how it comes from the factory for the seven and a half ton. Um, I'm just mimicking that because I have a 110 transformer in my outdoor unit. Uh, I don't have a 110 transformer right here. So just for ease of me doing this, I said this is gonna be power source. Also notice that I have the red and the blue wire coming off of it. It does go into this bundle, which goes into my thermostat. So I'm using the power right off the J10 plug to power up my thermostat as well too. Um, important note, don't take your thermostat power off of here, the R and the C, those, points on there only rated for I think it's 300 milliamps very small amount so it's not enough to run the trans or the uh, thermostat so don't hook it up to there grab your power off the j10 plug and then hook everything else up here so if you look at my power and my common connected and my other wires I have my green for my blower going to G yellow is going to Y1 brown if you kind of follow that one it's going to Y2 and then white is going to be for my W1 in this case. Um, and then back here behind it are my two wires that I'm using for this bundle. So that's my two wire going to my outdoor unit. And again, it's just connected to Y1 and Y2. They're kind of doubled up back there. So two wires ran. And oh, notice I do have a fault. See the red light flashing? So nothing major about that. I'm going to cycle through, go to the alarms. Oh, too far. Enter. And the indoor options module, it's not connected, which is because I haven't configured the Symbio unit to it. Last I was hooked up for a heat pump with the options module connected, and now it's not uh, detecting that anymore. So don't worry about that red fault that I have. If you were to configure this, uh, you wouldn't have that fault, as long as you set it up for straight cool. So now we can go to my thermostat. Let's put this in the test mode service. And we're going to run cooling one and two and you'll be able to hear it click <clears throat> whenever it activates so let's move this over here see my blower just turned off I'm gonna go to test cool next and then remember I've got these labeled so that's G that's gonna be my call from a blower CON is going to be condenser fan, so you have a green LED there, and then I'll get my Y1, my Y2 to light up. So I'm going to go to stage two, test. We're running that. Blower's energized. Now this is going to take me a little bit of a, oh, nope, no time delay. So there you go, Y1, Y2, condenser fan. So... You know, if I had high voltage going to this and the blower or the fan motors and the compressor, we'd be spinning off right now. So just by these two wires, it's sending the input into my Y1, Y2 call. And, you know, not really using anything over here. You don't need that G output for this configuration. And then again, that RC is just to power up my indoor unit. Just a note, warning, you know, wiring up this way does kind of defeat some of the logic, some of the protections built into the Symbio unit, what makes it, you know, special. Um, we don't have our G signal out, so we can't do uh, evaporator defrost, things like that if you're, uh, your coil is freezing over. 
uh, smoke detectors stuff you don't get the alarms if you tie it in here for your emergency stop none of that's going to be active because all we're doing is sending a y1 y2 signal out here and remember you can do just a y1 if you need to if it's not a two-stage compressor um, as far as smoke detectors and things like that goes you can always break your your 24 volt in here if you needed to of course if you cut power to that then it's going to kill the thermostat or the blower however you want to arrange it um, you would not need this options module as well either as far as, as the heat goes, if you notice, I got a smaller plug on this, um, just a seven wire instead of an eight wire plug, just because I, I robbed one from there just to hook this up. So I don't have my W2 hooked up, but W1 goes into there, of course, my, for my heat. And you would hook, hook your heater up to here, heat stage one. So you get 24 volts out of there if you put on your electric heat. But that's it. Like I said, you won't need your options module or anything, any of this. So just ignore that.